Oh, so here you see a, um, a normal C. elegans worm, quite beautiful, crawling along on its bacteria. So this is a movie of these worms. What you're going to see first are the normal worms. Here it is, a normal worm when it's about the age of a college student. It's three days old, so it's a young adult. And you can see that they're very healthy. Now what you see here is the mutant worm, the one that's going to live twice as long, when it's also a young adult. And what you see is that it's very healthy. That's important. It's not sick when it's young. Now here, prepare yourself, because this is a little bit sad, is the normal worm in just two weeks. You see? That now the head here is moving. See the head? See it move? There. But otherwise, it's just lying there. It's in the nursing home, basically. The old folks' home. You're going to see some more worms in just a second. This is worm is dead. And again, this one, you see its head is moving. But otherwise, it's just lying there. So these are what worms look like when they're old, which is just when they're two weeks old. And here is our long-lived mutant. One gene change, that's all. And look at it. See, it looks healthy. It's moving around actively. And they look much younger than the, the worms. And this is like actually looking at someone who's 90 and thinking that they're 45. That's what it's like. So it's, it's like a miracle, but it isn't a miracle. It's science. OK, so we want to know everything we possibly can about how changing one gene can uh, produce this miraculous appearance, 